So if you missed it, last week we built our first trail here on our property. The first thing we had to do was build this causeway to cross this marshy and creek area of our property to get to the hill behind me, which we're calling Pine Hill. We built our first trail on that hillside, which we're calling the Hemlock Loop. It takes us down a slight descent and then meanders back up. But today, we're going to build something a little bit more exciting and a little bit more feature packed. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is where our first feature is going to be. It's going to be a road gap over the Hemlock Loop climb. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take care of this tree that's in the way. Um, yeah, gotta go. Bye-bye. All right, so I want to use a lot of these logs that we just cut down as material for the drop. I need some stakes or something to hold and retain the log so they don't just roll down. But I think we've been able to find a tree that doesn't have that much longer to live because it's already leaning. I see you're uh, ready for Christmas. All right, well, the chainsaw ran out of juice and I'm running out of juice. So I think it's uh, about time where you call it a night and uh, go get some food and pick this up tomorrow. One thing I noticed from watching the footage from yesterday is after we put all these logs behind these posts that we drove into the ground, they started to lean this way quite a bit. So I'm gonna see if I can drive these down even further to give this a little bit more support. a skill saw. That was easier. Alright, so since we need to drill a really long hole, I got this really long paddle bit and this extender. Well, I don't think our drill likes this too much. Ooh. My plans changed halfway through the project and I wanted to build it differently than I was originally planning. And that's the beauty of building is sometimes you go into a project with a certain plan and it changes and you come up with a better idea. And I think I came up with a better idea. A Today, bit. the goal is to get this thing covered with dirt and get the landing built. So before I throw dirt on it, I'm gonna go ahead and fill all these nooks and crannies with smaller logs on the side so when we put dirt on it, it doesn't fall out the sides. This is kind of a fun project just to try out a bunch of things and see what building methods I like using. Um, I think. And that's the most fun part about building to me is like, you'll go into a project without knowing how to do something and then come away with a bunch of new techniques once you start to think about things and how to use your resources that you have available to you. All right, I'm stoked to finally get some dirt on that and finally pretty much be done with the lip. But we're gonna go focus on the landing now and that's gonna be a lot of dirt work. I think I might build it up a little bit to make it more of a proper road gap. Let's go tackle that now. I 
think every trail builder's favorite thing is removing stumps. My goal is I want to take that log down there and bring it all the way up here to kind of build up the landing so it's like a little consequential. Um, All right, this might be the first project that I'm gonna give up on, at least with a log. Come along, got stuck, the cable did, and so I ripped out the pin, and when I did, it went flying. So we're gonna have to figure out another plan. All right, I should have done that a long time ago. That would have saved me a little bit of frustration, but. All right, so I was trying to make some stakes from these offcuts to hold everything in place, but unfortunately this wood is just too rotted and it was just splintering apart where it shouldn't have been. For this day is to build the landing up a little bit higher and surface it with dirt. So the first thing I need to find is some better wood for stakes. And I don't mean me, I mean the things you pound into the ground. So I've come out to this area to grab some of these because I eventually want to clean this space up. So these things are perfect candidates for what I want to do. Right now I'm really glad we built this climbing trail because it makes it really easy to transport all these materials from one side to the other. And in other news, the bugs have found me so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the bug net. So I've been using this piece of rebar to tell where something is. Like, watch, if I take hitting rock there, hitting rock there, over here, I think I did find a spot where it could go in, because. It's funny, this is one of those projects that in my head, oh yeah, it will take no time at all and it's taken like three to four times longer than i was initially expecting i'm really hoping that we can get dirt on this by the end of the day that's uh that's the main goal okay <laughs> so that new drill makes this way easier they got the drill bit stuck I was expecting that to happen at some point. So I got this piece of rebar stuck. Um, I don't have the rebar cutting snippies and I don't have a special blade for any of my sauce. Uh, we're gonna have to leave this here for now. All right, this part's gonna be a total pain in the butt. There's a lot of shaping to be done. All right, this is where it really starts to get tough. Like you're fighting all this organic matter and it's literally an uphill battle to get that stuff up there. I think from this perspective, you can get a better appreciation of what we're doing here. So we built most of the landing and we built some of the turn so we have an indication of where the radius is gonna be. And now we're gonna start on the next feature. There's that small tree back there with the uh, orange flag and I've been Debating about taking it out, and I think I'm com coming to the conclusion that I'm going to take it out. I can hear you. 
sign. And I was like, ooh, what is going on? Apparently there's a rainstorm on the way and I'd like to get a ride in uh, before that comes in. So we're gonna call it a day and... All right, so we got a pretty good rainstorm last night. And so we're gonna go ahead and pack this landing. I almost always start with my feet because it's easy on your back. It's actually really enjoyable to do. If I start putting in ruts from riding it, we can just take out the shovel, smooth those out. It's a little too wet to really get it super firm, so we're gonna have to let it dry out at least for a day. So we're gonna move on down and take care of this feature. All right, I know a lot of people are gonna probably give me for using a leaf rake to move dirt. Sometimes this is the best tool you can use. When you have like these roots like this, a metal rake catches on these and you're fighting with it. This isn't very rigid, so this thing will flex and deflect off of it. So the trail is not done, but this part is complete. And I think that warrants testing out to see how it rides. So I came out here with the intention of hitting this right now, but um, it looks like this didn't actually dry out all that much overnight. So we're gonna go ahead and give it hopefully the day to dry out. And hopefully by this afternoon, we'll be able to hit it. Cause well, I guess as I'm waiting for this to dry out, I'll go ahead and give this another smooth pack cause we never actually gave it a really good pack. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So I should say, if I was building this for like a dirt jumper or a BMX bike, I'd be a little bit more picky about how the surface looks. Make sure it's a little bit more even, make sure there's less organic matter mixing. But because this is for a mountain bike, I care a little bit less. Like our suspension is gonna soak that up. There's a time and a place to be super picky and a little bit more liberal with your building style. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that and hopefully it dries out by this afternoon so we can hit it. The lighting in here isn't that great, so who knows if this even comes out. But let's head up to the top and hit it. Oh yeah. All right, so here is where the new trail, what we're calling Toad's Road, starts. We call it that because we found a bunch of toads out here, so we figured since it was a road gap, it was Toad's Road. Hi, Toad. I would put this at like a blue, black in terms of difficulty rating. All right, we're standing at the top ready to drop in. All right, show you what this looks like. So I'll just do the drop first. All right, so I only hit the drop that time. This time I'm gonna go head up to the top and I'm gonna send the triple as well. of like modulating your brakes right down here. <laughs> I like this jump a lot. It's the right amount of like really tricky. So I can't wait until it hardens up a little bit. All right, I'm sure this is one of those things that on camera you're looking at it like, oh, that doesn't look too bad. The context is what makes it hard. You have a drop right into a turn with a jump. So you're taking off, kind of leaning at an angle. And then you have this 20 foot gap. And when you're landing, you're landing with your brakes locked up to make this turn that's right behind it. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys what we do with this trail next video. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you subscribe, hit that like button, as always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing Pikes with me today. I'll see you guys next time.